he has been uh, attending a couple of meetings in Islamabad and uh, in Karachi as well that are related to the restructuring and import, very important for the future of this company. So I'm sure uh, uh, with this visit, his visit, we'll have a lot of positivity among the uh, Within, within the company as well as among the regulators that we are facing these days. I'm sure uh, he's going to discuss these meetings with you, wanted to share some good things with you, all of you, so that you can also celebrate this, that the company is going on the right path, and we uh, hope to see this uh, revival very soon. Absolutely. Akhil, thank you, and, and um, hello to all of you, to those I've not said, Hello to, now I say hello, uh, good to see you all here. Um, I'm sorry it's been such a long time before I visited, but uh, COVID, as you know, has got in the way, uh, particularly here in the office. And uh, I mean, well done to everybody who's coped with it. I know there's been a lot of family problems, personal issues. It's caused a lot of difficulty. Uh, but over the last 18 months or two years, I think to keep things going as you have has been Fantastic. So my first thing is thank you for withstanding the threat from thin air, which is the danger of COVID. We hope we're near the end of it. Uh, certainly in the UK, we're now loosening up regulations. Omicron is not as severe as the earlier variants. So let's hope we're beginning to see the end of this. So the next time I come, I can see some more faces and not just the uh, face masks. <laughs> so I can see what you really look like. Um, look, my main message today is, above everything else, a massive thank you. Because I think that the last two years um, have been extremely difficult, I think, for everybody working in the company. You've been under a lot of work pressure. Uh, some have been under investigation pressure. And I think you're under social and family pressure because everybody knows that Haskell has been in the news and a lot of it has been bad news, not good news. And so probably you've all got friends or family who say, why are you staying in Haskell? And I appreciate that. And I'd just like to say a few things about uh, what we're trying to do. Now, I became chairman less than two years ago. And I think you all know that I've tried to introduce a different culture, one which is open, honest, professional, and means that those in future who work here can do so with an element of pride in the fact that this is, again, becoming a good company which everyone can respect, and you can be respected for working in it. But we're still on this journey. And the journey above all is a financial one because in the past, I think some big mistakes were made, which has made, made us have to carry very heavy debt, very high interest payments, and massive pressure on our ability to buy the products which we want to sell in our filling stations uh, and keep them all wet and busy and therefore have a a profitable company. That has been very difficult when we face these financial restraints. But mostly behind me here are a management team who are working very, very hard to make the most of the cash we've got so we can begin to expand again. Now, that expansion is, I think, beginning again. We're making Recording the most of progress. our cash cycle and everything else. We're going to increase our volumes. I think we're probably at the low point now, or well, December. January's picked up a bit. February, let's hope we get to 45, 50,000 tons, break even. Once we get through there, we begin to make money again and be able to expand and uh, add money to the banks instead of borrowing from the banks. And actually, mention of the banks is what takes me to the big issue, which is that I think and I hope that we are on the edge of being able to have a settlement agreement with all our bankers to refinance the company in a way which allows, allows us to breathe again and expand. So what we're trying to do is to look at this mountain of debt 
which has been costing us a hell of a lot of money. Very expensive debt, very high interest rates. And to agree with the banks that we make it long-term debt at little or no interest rates. So instead of paying the banks massive amounts of money to pay for the debt, we can invest that same amount of money in the company, buying MoGas, buying HSD, and selling it in our pumps so that we can be a properly working company. Now, I don't know exactly which date we'll do this, but I hope within uh, two or three weeks that we will have a signed agreement in principle with the banks. Now, this will begin to restore confidence, I think, with suppliers, and I hope with you, and it'll help us and help Ali be able to recruit more people, because at the moment it's difficult, to retain you who are holding the company together, and to begin to stabilize things so that the company once again can be successful. Now, I think we're on the edge of that. Uh, I've had serious political meetings in Islamabad for two days. I've had a very good meeting with the banks uh, this morning, with Akil. And uh, these discussions have been going on for a long time. Meanwhile, Rahan has been holding, where is he? Right behind me. He's, he, he, he's looking after our enormous mountains of money to make sure that uh, all the finances are okay. Um, and likewise on the supply uh, and uh, retailing, we're trying to drive this very, very hard. So I say to all of you, thank you for sticking with us. I hope that this is the year we turn things around for the better. Please continue to stick with us. I'm acutely aware that we pay less than a lot of other companies. And I want to get this company to the position where we can correct that. We can't do it immediately. I can't <coughs> promise money I've not got. But please be assured, I know that Haskell does not pay as much as similar companies. And our ambition is to correct that as soon as we can afford it. So please also appreciate that in this company, we now have high standards. In the past, some <coughs> people have cut corners. They've got into habits which are bad habits. And such bad habits will never again be tolerated in this company. This will be a company of high professional standards and honesty. And that I would ask you all to understand. So if anyone here is in any doubt about anything they're doing, just please think it must be honest. And that is what I absolutely require in everybody from the top to the bottom. So we're going to be honest. I hope to be profitable. Uh, I want you all to stay. We want to be able to recruit new people. We hope to refinance. And I very much hope that in the course of the next few weeks and months, we can begin to hear good news about Haskell instead of all the bad news about Haskell. That's my wish. Because if I go on television, it'll make my life a lot easier if they ask nice questions instead of horrible questions. <laughs> so, Mary Bahari, I'm never going to talk to you ever again. I'm just going to put the nice interviews and the, the nice photographs with a smiling Akil, smiling employees, and a, a happy company. So, I hope that reassures you on some things and explains where we are. Um, while I'm here, please, if you want to ask me any questions, I'll take two or three if there's anything that's really on your mind. Now that you've got me here and you want to ask me, or you can ask me privately afterwards, but if there's anything you want to, here's your chance. You're all happy, you're either happy or you're shy. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly both. <laughs> okay, very good. Anyway, I'm here for a few more hours. I'm going back to London tonight, but um, I'm around a bit and uh, we'll see you before you go, I'm sure. But again, thank you, and I'll be back, I hope, fairly soon. Have I missed anything? Have I forgotten anything? That's what the chief executive should be saying. <laughs> First rule of the CEO is always keep the chairman happy. Good, good point. All right, that's good. All right, thank you all very much. Thank you.